A few days before Beyond Light was scheduled to be released, I made a video for like new people, beginners on how to optimize your PC for Beyond Light. Because some people were having stuttering issues, stuff like that, right? And I thought, ah, no, 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 it'll be fine. Destiny will be released. You know, it's a whole new download. Everything will be great. Well, I was definitely wrong. People are having a ton of stuttering issues. And a lot of people think it's it could just be Destiny, and it could be. I have zero issues. So I'm going to show you guys what I do on both my PCs to have zero problems. Now, I have two separate PCs with two completely sets of hardware, not a single piece of hardware except for maybe a fan is the same in each PC. So uh, one PC is this one, which is a uh, AMD Ryzen 9 3900X with a 3080 uh, NVIDIA. And the upstairs PC is an i7 uh, Intel 7700K with a AMD RX 580 GPU. RAM is different, RAM speed is different. They're both overclocked, but again, they're two completely separate platforms and I have zero problems. Very simply, I'm going to show you what I do on both PCs and uh, actually my laptop included to have zero problems. So I typed it out here. Uh, I'm also recording this video in 4K to make the text as clear as possible and I'm going to power through it. I'm going to go quick. I'm not going to edit. Um, we're just going to go quick. If you have any problems, uh, questions, just type in the comments below. Okay, so let's get started. First thing that people need to do is run this program called DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller. This will make sure that it wipes out any and all previous versions of uh, your graphics card drivers. Because believe it or not, when you run like the GeForce Experience or even like the AMD program, you do that auto update, it does leave files and there could be conflicts. So let's just eliminate any chance of there being a conflict, right? So what you do is you run DDU. You can get this from guru3d.com and very simple to use. Uh, but before you actually like, run it, go to NVIDIA or AMD.com, download the latest drivers and the latest drivers, leave them on your desktop, like right here somewhere. Because when you run this, because you're wiping out your drivers, when you run, uh, when you boot back into Windows, everything's going to look huge. Your resolution is going to be so small and you'll be like, oh, wow, what the heck, right? And just if it's on your desktop, it's easier to run because uh, it's right here. So all you need to do is you need to click on your device type right you go to your gpu you select whether you're amd or nvidia you click clean and restart and it will re uh, reboot your pc so what this app does is it completely wipes it and prevents windows from automatically downloading from windows update that's what the, this thing is this button here uh by default it does that so by not downloading from windows update you're not doing that geforce experience thing again where you're just overwriting the driver that's currently there so if we start completely fresh with no other drivers there we know that we have a like a good baseline like there's no other previous conflicts so with that being done the uh, the next thing you can do is after you've reinstalled your drivers you got everything booted uh you know you went into your nvidia control panel here and you set everything up the way you want uh, actually, while we're here, we'll quickly go through this. I recommend no, uh, I don't use G-Sync or FreeSync or any kind of adaptive sync because I don't like the input lag it creates. Some people are sensitive to that and some people are not. It does create a little bit of input lag. Whether tests in that show it's like one or two, you know, unperceivable, I can definitely tell if there's adaptive sync on. And I'm not the only one. So I put it, you know, highest available, maximum performance, uh, V-Sync off. A little tip you can do for NVIDIA is your texture filtering quality. Set it from quality to high performance will give you a couple frames. No big deal. Uh, and anyways, so the next step we want to do here is disable full screen optimizations. Now this works on every game because Windows isn't designed as a gaming OS. So they put in these little things that they can uh, do to make gaming a little better. It's It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So open up Windows Explorer and you want to go to your Destiny folder. In my case, it's my G Drive, Steam Apps, Common, Destiny 2. Inside Destiny 2, you right click, you go Properties, Compatibility, and then right here, Disable Full Screen Optimizations and run this program as admin. I run it as admin, you don't have to. I just do it a habit. Some applications, keep in mind that if you run it as admin, it won't work. It'll, uh, like for example, the Razer Synapse software, if you run it as admin, it will, uh, it won't even start when you re uh, reboot your computer, you have to load it without 
um, checking that box. So to be safe, just click disable full, full screen optimizations and click OK. And that's it. That's it for that. Now, the next thing you want to do, bottom left, when uh, go uh, game mode settings. I always have game mode off. What it used to do is it used to take resources and put it towards your 3D application. That wasn't working. So then they changed it. I think it was version 1909, maybe. Anyway, and they made it so what it does is it was when you have a 3D application running, it will disable Windows Update and it will disable notifications from the bottom right here. You can do that with focus assist off. But anyway, I hate game mode. I don't care if it's a placebo effect. I turn it off just to be safe and I have no problems. So just keep it off. Uh, when you're in here, same thing, game bar. Okay, so this controls your game bar. Make sure this is off. Make sure all this is off. In fact, make sure everything in this is off. Just You don't even want to use this whole section here. Now, unfortunately, by disabling the game bar here, all it does is it disables the overlay. When you start a 3D application, it is still going to run game bar. It's just going to run in the background. You won't see it and you can't control it with an overlay. So to get rid of that, you need to go Windows Explorer. You need to go to your C drive, Windows, your uh, System32. And then inside here, you can just click on anything, press G to go down to game bar presence writer.exe. I don't have it because I already deleted it, but if you haven't deleted it already, we'll be here. So what you want to do, you want to delete it. Well, unfortunately, when you go delete, it won't let you. It says you need permission. So very simply, right click on it. Properties. Go to security. The bottom here for special, uh, special permissions or advanced settings. Click advanced. You want to click advanced. Your owner, trusted installer. Click on change. Type in the word admin is stray tours with an S at the end. I really spelled that wrong, didn't I? I did. Admin is. You want to click on check names and then this will populate with whatever your PC name is plus administrators. You want to go to OK. This owner up here will change from trusted installer to administrators. Perfect. Apply OK. And then this menu here to change permissions, click edit. You want to click edit. Go down to administrators. You want to click here, full control allow. Click apply OK. And then you just simply delete it and that will allow it to be deleted. Now, a little PSA here. In the event you ever go to your command prompt here and you type SSC slash scan now system file checker. You've probably seen things that, you know, if you have a problem with your computer, you run system file checker. If you run that at the end of it, it will say it found errors and repaired them. Well, this file not being there is an error. It will recreate the file or redownload the file. You'll have to do the same thing we just did all over again. No big deal. It takes, as you saw, just a few seconds. Uh, and that will completely disable the game bar, which is great if you don't like game bar. So uh, let's just go down the list here. So Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. It's completely out of order, by the way. Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. It is an application that is created by the same guy that makes DDU, which is the first thing we did, Display Driver Uninstaller. What it does is it manages the Windows 10 Standby List because the Windows 10 Standby List hasn't been run properly since Windows 7. And since Windows 10 is a productivity OS, not a gaming OS, they still don't really care to make it more gaming optimized. I'm not gonna go into details. That was my previous video, which I never ended up making public. I went into details about everything, talked really slow. I just wanna get this out as quick as possible. So I'm not gonna go into details. If you wanna know what this does, just simply Google it. I'll tell you how to set it up properly. All you need to do, uh, download it, run it, click start ISLC, uh, minimize and auto stop uh, monitoring, check that. Check the box below it, launch ISLC. Uh, on user logon and for your settings here put it at 1500 and 3500 i have 32 gigs of ram this should work just fine with 16 so 15 and 35 and then you want to uh hit start and then just hit minimize do not hit the x if you hit the x it will close the app hit minimize and it will go down in your taskbar here you'll never see it again always keep that running it does help now i shouldn't have to say this but apparently i do Run your games in full screen mode, exclusive full screen mode. I know people hate alt tabbing and like the delay of alt tabbing. Get over it. Because by running in windowed and borderless windowed, yeah, sure, you get really fast alt tabbing. But 
you don't give your GPU all of the resources. Windows isn't handling it 100% to your game. It's sharing it between your desktop. And it gives you really um, unstable frame times. And a frame time is how smooth your game will feel. If you have really, if you have like high FPS and like crazy frame times, your game will be a slideshow. It's, it's better to have lower frames in a better frame time than higher frames in a worse frame time. So just, just get over it, run it in full screen. Take the time it takes, to, you know, the second or two to alt tab. Just overall, you'll like it better. Um, yeah, and that's it. Now, a little another PSA is if, if you have a capture card that's cloned, like in this case, I have a capture card cloned to my other PC, alt tabbing will be a little bit longer. And when you when you exit 3D applications, it will have like a little bit of a delay. It's not a big deal. Uh, most people have two monitors anyway, or I mean, in my case, I have a stream PC with a second monitor and I just have another mouse and keyboard. It's whatever. Just run in full screen mode to make sure you have the most stable gaming experience. Okay, now this is a little, um, another thing if you have MSI Afterburner, which closes when you open up EDU. Okay, so an Afterburner, you have the option here. This is only if you have this, by the way. Uh, you have the option to run user-defined fan uh, control speed. It's best to just leave it on auto. I don't have this problem with my RX 580 upstairs. However, I noticed that on my NVIDIA cards, if I have my user defined fan uh, enabled, when it starts to ramp up, it might cause a stutter sometimes. Um, I haven't been able to figure out how to make it stop permanently. It happened, it, like it's very intermittent, even running uh, it running MSI uh, Afterburner as admin, it's still kind of intermittent where I'll get a stutter when it ramps up to a certain speed. Now, I mean, maybe if you kind of adjust the fan curve a little more uh like gentle it may it may fix that i just i don't care to put the time into it i just leave it on auto and uh and i just let it be and i don't have any issues but this definitely causes a stutter if you have it and you have it enabled like if it's this if you have it enabled yeah that can definitely be a cause of stuttering for you uh okay moving on I'm trying to get through this quick here as i said okay so open up your command prompt as administrator, of course, as always. Now, this setting here is for uh, Ryzen users, so all my Ryzen guys out there. What this does is this modifies how Windows 10 uses the high precision event timer. Now, you, if you have the original Ryzen, like the 1000, uh, sorry, the 1700, 1800, 1800X series, the original Zen, uh, you'll probably remember that the HPET high precision event timer caused issues. And if you disabled it, you got better frames per second. Now I've been doing this ever since the original one. Um, I do notice it makes a little difference. Some people might say it doesn't. Some people will say it does. One thing I can agree with is that it does artificially inflate your FPS a little bit because it changes, it, uh, it changes the time. So instead of it like being you know, one frame per second. And, you know, obviously one second is one second. It changes it to like three quarters of a second or like a second and a bit. So it'll artificially adjust your uh, FPS accordingly, but it's not a big deal. And if anything, the stabi stability you gain from turning this off is worth it, in my opinion, because it's like going to be not even noticeable. And again, this is one of those things you can Google. If you're really interested in it, you can Google it. And this, of course, you can revert if you don't like the setting at all. So um, HPET, leave it enabled in your BIOS if you're familiar with that. And if you don't know what it is, and it's probably already enabled and don't touch it. Leave it enabled in Windows Device Manager because inside Device Manager, you can also see HPET. What is this? RTX Voice. That's fine. Okay, so you also note in here, uh, I, uh, high precision event timer, just leave it enabled. Just disable it with this command. Use platform clock, uh, oops, wrong command. Use platform clock, uh, false. So you don't want to use the platform, right? And then press, I don't even know what's going on. My gosh, delete, not deleted. Hold backspace, yikes. I think I'm pressing the delete key. Okay, use platform clock, false. Just press enter on this and then restart the computer and then that will stop using the high precision event timer and uh, that's that okay so the next one 
Same thing, go back to the command prompt, run as admin. Now this is dynamic tick. So this is another thing that uses the uh, Windows timer. This just disables it from dynamically changing the tick size. You'll keep it a static amount all the time for consistency. Now this is one thing I do on both my PCs, Intel and AMD, haven't noticed any issues whatsoever. This is something that I do right when I start Windows. And this is something that I check after every Windows update. Um, could be a placebo effect, could not, but it's something I do and it gives me good, good results. So same thing, copy this, paste it into your grant uh, prompt, you press enter, restart the computer. And something I just said actually reminded me, um, Windows Update is another thing that I noticed actually just the other day. I noticed that uh, my game stuttered twice uh, on Europa. And I was like, whoa, 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 what the hell's going on? So I went through all my usual settings. Okay, nothing's changed. I noticed that Windows Update um, started to do, uh, uh, it checked for something and it had it here saying waiting to, in waiting to install. And I was like, are you kidding me? I have this like pause normal, right? But what it did is it downloaded some, it wanted to download some driver update or something. And because it was sitting here prompting, it was weirding out my game. So I just ran the Windows update and then everything was fine. I went check and I went install and it turned out to be nothing. And uh, everything was hunky dory. So that's something you can also just go through. And that's it. All these things were off the top of my head. I just typed this out really quick. But this is this thing that I always do on every new PC install and I have no issues whatsoever. So if you guys can find another solution, please leave it in the comments um, and we can add to this because I'd like to get a uh, like a pretty good amount of fixes because I see people saying the last couple days, oh, to fix it, you know, for the raid, which is today, the 21st of, uh, of November, just, you know, do this. Disable the NVIDIA low latency mode and that's it. No, that's not just it, man. It's not just a destiny problem. Yeah, destiny may be a cause of it, but it's generally an overall PC problem. So while we're talking about the, the NVIDIA uh, low latency mode, let's go ahead and just address that. So in order to get to that, you open up Windows Explorer. Then you put percent app data percent. And you want to go to your Bungie directory, destiny PC refs and then cvart at xml right click on it click edit so to address that that's right here it's the cvart value here i leave it at two which is reflex plus boost i did put it to zero i saved it ran the game closed it put it back to two and i haven't noticed any issues that were present before you had some weird like ghost bullets issue i didn't believe it until i did it and i said okay that, you know, that's fair. That's fair. But ever since I put it back to two, I haven't had an issue. So this is where you locate that. Uh, while we're in here, don't exit out yet. Uh, mouse smoothing. Bungie snuck in mouse smoothing with the latest uh, update. Not quite sure why, but this was a two by default. It used to be eight, and now it's two. I always put it to zero. I leave it at zero. It's always been zero. I leave it at zero for just pure uh, mouse raw input. And uh, I don't need to save that. Okay, so that's it. Again, if you know another thing that I haven't said, please edit and uh, add it to the comments, and I will edit in the uh, the description box. Again, this was not edited. This was just I just wanted to power through it, get it done, get it up there before the raid goes live, and hopefully it helps somebody. If it does help you, and you like these sorts of videos. I wanted to do more editing videos. I just, I didn't care right now. It's what time is it? It's 3 30 in the morning. I just want to get it done. Yeah. So if you like this sort of content, like subscribe and let me know in the comments that you like this sort of content. And if you have a question on, uh, how to make, you know, games run better or have a suggestion on just a video you want me to make, just let me know. I love doing YouTube videos. I just don't do it because I don't have the passion or drive to do it unless I see a problem that someone needs help with because I love helping I love fixing problems if something doesn't work right I love to fix it so let me know and uh yeah that's it see you have a good one. Oh, good luck rating by the way I hope you all get day ones I'll be watching I'm not a big raider but uh let me know how it goes okay bye